I've been looking at a series that I'm calling, I Will Honor God. I will. It's a determination. I've decided. I'm going to honor God. It's, it's a song that many years we sang, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. And we can decide to honor God regardless of the situation and the circumstance we find ourselves in. I, I attended a memorial service of a sister that I got to know in the early 70s. So I've known that lady for close to 50 years. I've known her walk in the Lord and her faith and trust in God. And she, has, she fought a good, a good fight. And so when I went to her funeral and I saw the people that had come, there were so many who had attended uh, the funeral. And I have never gone to a funeral where the minister feels I should bury. And I came late. The preacher had finished preaching. And I hid myself. But uh, Elizabeth. And so on. So he had spotted me, so he started saying, and I was I wanted to be there technically. 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 So I had so many things. So I wanted technical. Lakini akasema, Bishop Kimani tumemuona. Haiti yake, kala yake, ata akivaa barakoa, nimemuona yuko area. Yeye, nikimaliza, tutaombea familia, yeye, diya taenda kuzika huyu ni mshirika wake. Anyway, I did. I, 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 I did it. But the point that I'm bringing, even while there, remembering her life, I quoted a scripture as I laid her to rest and I, I quoted the scripture in the book of Revelation. This is John who is saying, I heard a voice from heaven saying, write, write. Blessed are those who die in the Lord from this day. For they rest from their labors and their deeds and works follow them. I said this. The deeds to follow me because in heaven, do I need deeds to follow me in heaven? But the deeds to follow me is the works that I have done. Those works will follow me even when I am gone. People will talk about it. People that I helped. She had helped some young men who are calling her mother. She never got married. But the deeds, those deeds, and, and I left her place saying, Mother, me, help me so that I can have a little deed. Na deed is even mjengo hii. Unajua mjengo hii. Hakuna, gotiri kudwe zi ageno, ne nyo baya mahigana and so on. But I, I did that I helped somebody, that somebody I helped somebody to come to know the Lord. I, I encouraged somebody, I prayed with someone. Those deeds that I remembered, I remembered someone, maybe they were depressed or so and so, and I remembered them and lifted them up. That, those deeds will follow them. And those deeds for us to follow them, then I might align myself to the word of God. I'm saying this because our sister sang, if I have Jesus, I don't need anything else. For me and Jesus, there is no mountain that we cannot... It is me and Jesus and his word. And we, so I started this series. I will honor God. And today I want to give a, a little uh, a theme of what I'm saying. Giving weight to the word. Giving weight to the word. Giving weight to the word. 
It is important to give weight to the word. The last sharing that I shared here said, having a weightless word. Yani neno ambalo halina uzito. When we view God's word this way as weightless and we don't give God honor, there will be consequences. Because what we saw last Sunday was why those things happen and we don't give God honor is because we view God's word as negotiable. Amesema. You see, there are people who argue with the word of God because they want to fall into sin. Amesema nini kuhusu ndoa? Unatafuta maandiko. Unaenda kwa timotheo. Unasema ni kama unataka kuwa bishop. Hiyo tu ndiyo unaoa mke moja. You see, you are arguing with the word of God because the word of God says from the beginning, Jesus says, it was not so. God created man and a woman. Two, they shall become one, not three. So when you put argument, you, you, you will not honor the word of God. The word of God is to be obeyed. We also saw, uh, secondly, when you view the word of God as in, 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 in consequential, it has no consequence. Neno, ni kama tu, unajua, watoto wanapokuwa wadogo, si tunawaongelezega, si tunasemaga mambo, si unaona ni kama hawasiki, mama moja alituambia hivi, tulimuuliza, tuliona watoto wake ni, have you ever gone to a place and you have admired the children you meet? Wanaona kama wanamidhamu kuliko wako. You know? So, you, mama, what do you do? And she, we were serious. She gave us two words. Tokology and neology. First of all, I thought tokology is something else. But then we asked, what is tokology? She says, tokology is the act of talking and when you have talked, you talk some more. She said, even when they don't hear, because sometimes you, you so we were told, tokology is ishe. Na hiyo igine piga magoti. You know, we thought utapewa kitabu, ama enda mkasome hii. The word of God, even when we are telling our children, sometimes what we need to add into it is a consequence. If you don't do this, this will be the consequence. When we view the word of God as it has no consequence, we miss the point. But let me tell you the word of God has, whatever God has said, the Bible says, the word of God will not get back to God void, but it will accomplish that which he has sent it for. If he has said there will be healing in this service, it doesn't matter what we are going to do. Whether we talk about it or not, there will be healing here. Somebody will walk and say, I got healed. We, you see, if there is salvation going to happen here, like in the first service, si waliokoka watu? Eh? Watano ama sita? Waliokoka? Sio kwa sababu ubiri ya likuwa meamua, ninakuja kuubiri watu watano waokoke. But God, when the word comes, and God has said there is going to happen this and the other, it happens. Now that is the word of God. It has consequence. When the word of God says those that sin will surely die, then they will. Because it is the word of God. If you don't honor God because you think it has no consequence, then it doesn't help you even. Also, we also saw when you view God's word as if he's withholding something good from us. What the devil told Eve. If you think God is withholding something nice, then you will not honor him. May God help us. And then finally we saw when we view it as one of the two parts. Yani unayangalia neno unasema kuna njia mbili. Moja ni ya mungu na moja ni yangu. Nitatumia ya nani? Iyo bahati, bahati na shika utasema 
utatumia yako and many times that's what we do first samuel 2 and 30 for them that honor me i will honor and they that despise me shall be you know the way it is put there lightly esteemed it is it njia nyingine ya kusema you will not be esteemed at all lightly ni kusema ni hata itaonekana but those that honor god will be honored by god our text this morning is found in the book of isaiah 55 verse 7 to 13 isaiah 55 verse 7 to 13 let's read together let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the lord and we will have mercy upon him and to our god for will he will abundantly pardon for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your paths my paths or my ways says the lord for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and burned, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be, that God forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but shall accomplish that which I please, and shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. For you shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the far tree, and instead of the barrier shall come up the myrtle tree and shall be to the Lord for a name. For an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Giving weight to the word of God. Giving weight to the word of God. All of us, especially those that have had Christian parents, had the prayers. And, and please forgive me if I go back to those days. We used to pray two times. Before and after. Nowadays, how many times do you pray? If you remember one, which is before, after. But we used to pray twice. The first prayer is thanking God for the food. God, you are the provider. And in every prayer, we mention four places. Those that are traveling, those that are in hospital, those that are in prison, and those that are hungry. Four things. And then we would eat the food. Then after, we would thank God for giving us appetite <laughs> and allowing us to enjoy the meal. You know, I have told you in this chat that uh, the, 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 there used to be an usher here. The Lord blessed her. She got married. Uh, she used to come to my office early and she, she would bring me tea and doma and guashe. But I liked her prayer. She would just say, Bishop, tuombe. Tuombe. Then I would say, yes, tuombe. Then she would start praying. She would go to where the domas were planted. <laughs> she would follow the doma with the person carrying it. She would cleanse it. Because she would pray, we don't know where these things have come from. And some of you take it for granted. Doma. Korea, you meet a doi. Can you meet a roi? Can you meet a moranga? And it all depends with where it has come from. It needs cleansing. 
Now those kind of prayers, all what they did was first of all to say God is good, he is the provider. He has provided for us. God is good, he has given us the system, we have enjoyed the meal. And when I went to high school, we prayed a prayer also. Now that is where I started praying one prayer only. And the prayer was, blessed, bless it. And everybody say, amen. And by the time we are saying amen, boys, ugali mkono moja, mboga pande hii, anaendelea akitoka. Akifika pale, anatupa sani, zitikuwa za plastic. Anatupa. Kama nye mulisoma ya iti for four, abda uliku kibeba sahani. Si tuliku soma hile ya zamani. Hakuna kitu unabeba, umepewa kila kitu. Kwa hivyo hata watu wakuosha hizo wako. Nenda na kijiko peke yako. And they would complain, omba, omba. Because ugali ya mesha ikunja, ya meshika hivi. And any prefect who was on duty and praying would pray, blessed, blessed, amen. And people are walking out. I don't know for girls, I don't know how girls behaved because they, you have manners, but for we, we came. The thing is, we knew there is a blessed man who is up in heaven, is our God, and is the one who can bless what we are just to, to eat. We, we knew that. Now, if those were the prayers that you prayed, and you believed God, that God was great, and God was good, the question is, is that God still good to you? Is he still great to you? It does, has he changed? Has his word changed? Do you believe that God is great? Do you believe that his word is good? Do you believe that God is great? Do you believe that he is great always? Then if his word is great and great always, we will honor the word of God. What does that mean? It means the following. Number one, it means he will always meet your genuine, not just perceived needs. If he is great and he is good, the prayer that we used to pray with our parents, if he is good and genuine, then he will always meet my genuine, not the perceived needs. Because some of us, have perceived needs, not genuine needs. Philippians 4.19, my, but my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. That's what it means. So I have to catch that word. And because he is good, his word means he will come and all my genuine needs, not my past, because the problem is some of us, our needs are already met. But the perceived needs have not been met. Perceived needs, ni wewe unataka kuwa na helicopter, sasa. It is perceived. Do you really need it? Utaipaki wapi? You know, I've always thought about it. Sasa kama mungu wa kinipa. <laughs> Anipe tu, jet. Sasa itekue ya kazi gani? What will it be? Kwenu ni metembea. Hakuna ata iwanja ya primary. Jete iwezi anguka pali. You know. Kwa hivyo kuna vitu ni napendaka. But they are just perceived needs. My genuine needs have been met. Which is daily bread. A place to sleep. A family that I love. And they love me. Those are the genuine needs. But the perceived needs. Ni ukienda America una, unakuta rafi, kuna rafiki yangu ako na nyumba moja kwa B ako na boat hata amenibeba nayo boat na ako na nyumba ingine na huko sasa when you think about it you, you look you say hata mimi nitanunua boat do you know where i can take the boat is either Mombasa or Kisumu or Naivasha like Naivasha maybe when will i use it it's perceived, but it is not the need. But God is good, and he can meet my genuine needs. And I have to pick his word. 
that he will supply my genuine needs according to his riches, which is in glory by Christ Jesus. It also means he will always forgive your sins. 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That is his word. Hakuna dhambi hawezi samehea. Watu wenu wanaweza kataka kukusamehea, lakini Mungu hakuna dhambi hawezi kukusamehea. Itaje? Ni ipi? Hakuna. And that is the word of God. So that wherever I stand, I see today, I will know that whatever sin I have done, God is able to forgive me. God is able to cleanse me. I am a candidate that God can cleanse me. That word that God is able to meet my genuine need and not per per perceived needs also means he will never stop loving me. People might stop loving me because maybe what they loved is what they were getting from me. Now when I'm not able, they might hate me. But God will always love me because he has always loved me. Jeremiah 31 verse 3. The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yes, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. If, if you can underline, underline that and put your name there. The Lord has appeared to Jimmy, has appeared unto me, Jimmy, saying, Jimmy, I love you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn if this becomes true to you, hata we utampenda mungu. Neno lake ni lakweli. He will never stop loving me. That word of God, believing it and knowing that God is good and great and he will always meet my genuine needs also means his strength and his grace are always sufficient for you. Kue na corona, kusiwe na corona, neema yake inakutosha. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. And he said unto me, Jimmy, my grace is sufficient for you. For my strength is made perfect in your weakness, Jimmy. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Uni Paulo. Hey. Si unajua ata bishop anagoje kaga? Wale awajui bishop wenu anagoje kaga. Bishop wenu anasotaga kusota. Amen. Kusota. Kusota zini niku. Niku. Broke, eh? <laughs> God help me not to borrow words that I don't know the meaning, you know. <laughs> and then you think people are laughing because you have told them a good thing and they are laughing because the meaning and whatever was not. And if that then is true, that even in that place of my weakness and my need, that his grace is still sufficient for me, I will pick that word, put it in my spirit, so that when there are some kuyumba yumba, I will declare to myself, mimi ni mependwa na God. Mtu wali na God ni mimi. Na sayo unaumwa na tumbo, sayo uko hospitali umerara kwa kitanda, hakini unasema, mimi ni mependeka na mungu. If God is good and is great, and he will meet my genuine need, not my perceived need, then that also means he is the ruler of all things, including my circumstance. You know, here ukijua, where my yako imabadilika. If you have any circumstance, and you know he is the ruler of all circumstances, then you'll be a happy person, because you will not seek the opinion of others. Job 23, 10. But he knoweth the way that I take, when he hath tried me, 
I shall come forth as gold. I mean, this is serious. Yani mashida mashida forte. And then you get to a place, you know, where goja. Wacheni kunisuguma hivyo. Akini malizia. Yani, when he will finish with me, I will be gold. That is a lot of faith. Because many times, we are so scared about the things that are before us that we don't know how to, to do things that God has called us. You know, let me tell you what happened to my notes. I'm not able to flip them. I arranged them wrongly. And <laughs> when I was arranging them, the thought came. There was one day here I preached, and I had five points. But I, I discovered I am not seeing them. So I, later on when I went to the office, I discovered what happened. It was Pindua, Pejia points, it was Pande Ingine. Sa nilipofika pahali nikachanganyika hapa nikaruka nikaenda page nyingine. Nikasema mambo mengine, sasa nikakumbuka lakini nikajua sitarudi nyuma. Ndio unaona nilizipanga vibaya pia. Ndio unaona nikijaribu kuzitoa. Points zangu zisipotee. Oshio newe ira, ndio the other ye. Hiyo ni kwenda na nuru. Ndio sababu hiyo what is bishop saying? Hai naenda na nuru. Sina na wengine mnaniangalia. If God is good and great and then he will meet me at, with my genuine needs, which he knows. It simply means I can count on him to do what he has promised. Amen. Numbers 23 verse 19, God is not a man. Would you say that after me? God is not a man. That he should do what? That he should lie. Neither the son of who? Of men. That he should do what? Repent. Hath he said... Shall he not do it? Has he spoken? And shall he not make it good? If God is good, it simply means I can count on him at his promise. You know, last Sunday I told you, Mungu akikuahidi, chukua hiyo upereke benki, uambie siku moja, hiyo itakuwa pesa. Because ni Mungu amesali. And there are many people in the Bible that God did so to them. If God is good, remember the prayers that we started praying, those prayers for we were taught by our parents. If God is good and he loves everybody, whether you are in prison and you know one and so forth and so forth, then it simply means that you have no need to fear and worry. See, hey, see last year to me ubiri abari awoga. Ukipinduka pande unasikumbuka hubiria watu habari ya uoga. Unaangalia watu naona watu wana uoga. <laughs> I was sharing with someone who is a friend of mine, Jana. Alipeleka baba yake hospitali. Uh, Alipo mpeleka, daktari akasikia na kohoa. Uyo mzee alikuwa na kohoa. Amen? Daktari akaweka uyo mgoji wa pale, na ya kasimama hapa, na rafikia kwa kama wesi mama pale. Ati unasama nini? Ati ule, ati nini? Hajapimwa COVID? Hey, ati, totige muamu kira? Hey! Ni uoga. <laughs> In that conversation, we also had another man. His son alienda kwa daktari ya kamambia nimekuja unipime because the symptoms ni COVID. Daktari aliposikia hivi wakatoroka na hakurudi tena. July. Alienda mbio. Uoga. <laughs> but if God is good and he is great then I will have no need of fear. Joshua 1, 9, the Bible says, Have I not commanded thee? Now listen to the command. The command is, Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. That's the command. Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Then he adds, Anaongeza roi kokidogo. Bas, ata usi tichwe. For the Lord thy God is with thee wherever you go. Picking the word of God and you honor it, 
giving it its preeminence, then it simply means you'll have no fear or worry. If we believe God, he is always good, it simply means we will reject our own thinking and give weight to the word of God. There is a quote that was put from A.W. Tozer. He says this, With the goodness of God to desire our highest welfare, the wisdom of God planned it, the power of God is ready for us to achieve it. What do we lack then? There is nothing, because he has also given us the power. The power is his for us to achieve it. Let me give you three things that I, we pick from the text that we have read. 55, 7 to 13. What happens? This is the question that we ask. What happens when we begin to give weight to the word of God? Number one, we forsake the way bathed by our own reasoning. Verse 7a. Let the wicked forsake his way and the righteous man his thoughts. It is important for us to get to that level. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Is it not very interesting that we can justify so many things when we are relying on our own thoughts? We want to justify them. Even not coming to church or not going to church, we justify it. Kuna justification nyingi sana. Lakini tu siingirie kule. Tuachie tu pale. But you will justify because you put God into some... But if you put God's word into weight, then you will follow the scriptural pattern which tells us that the church where we gather should be a priority to us. Because when we gather together, like uh, uh, somebody was saying, when we meet together, even when we shall meet together during the, 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 the solemn assembly, it, it's so... You, there is... A, there is... A, there is Power when we are together. First Corinthians 5, 4a, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we are gathered together. First Corinthians eleven eighteen 18a, for first of all, when we come together in church. Hebrews 10, 24 to 25, and let us consider one another to provoke and to love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves as the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much when the days are getting closer to the coming of the Lord. I think it is important for us. A Christian, no, a Christian not going to church is like a member of a, a football team. Any team, go to my UFC. He says, I am in the team. In reality, he could be a part of a team. But because he's not practicing and playing in the team, he's having good thoughts. Like some of us Liverpool fans. Sometimes we are more players than the players themselves. Na tuguzi kitu, timiangu. Wewe. That's why I normally say, Mimi, hata wakipigu wa tatu. Ninalaraga. <laughs> Na tena, ikifika saa ya kulala. Siwezi kataa kulala ati kwa saa uliwa pulo unacheza. Nitasoma kwa gazeti, kwani? But I know there are some people here. Kulala, Chelsea, Arsenal, Manchester. Ah, iweza kani? Paka firingi ya muisho ipigwe. Na kuna watu wanajua kuchokoza wegine. They know your team. Wana kutekstia. Mumechapwa. <laughs> Muko down. Na saa ukijua wata kutekstia what you do. Na wewe. Bas, hivyo umesikia. Simu, unaiweka, umei switch off. Sio watu kutaku kutekstia ma story zao. Lakini muki, muki, mukianza kushinda, unaiakisha upesi. Ile kuambia, sasa, sasa, 
you know, that kind of a thing. So somebody, somebody saying I belong to Deliverance Church Kasarani and he doesn't even come here. You know, query. At, at Bishop is my dad. <laughs> when, did you, when did you see your dad last? <laughs> I, I spare a lot of you. Oh, Bishop, yes, dad, what, what, what? And when did I see you last? Let me not get into that pathway because that path is kibira hiyo path hapana mzuri sana ila tuiwaacha tu hivyo. The thing is hear the word of God obey. if God is good then we are going to to follow him. Number two, We return to the word to establish our thoughts. So we go back to the word of God so that it can establish us. 7B says and let him return unto the Lord so that we go back to God not only do we forsake our way but we also return to God. We don't only forsake the thinking that has been produced by our thinking, but we also go back to him. 2 Corinthians 10, 5, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exhorted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Yani kira kitu kiveze kumti bwana. Stop living in the land of if only. Unajua kama wale watu wanasema if only if only because this is an imaginary and realistic place a place called if only giving way to the word of god means if only in my life have no meaning because because if only in your life for example if only my sp- my spouse would try to understand me if only my if only I wasn't created this way. You know, I wasn't created a man, for example. If only. If only. Or, if only my children would respect me. I don't know why you want them to respect you. Do you respect them? Imesikia wazewe kina kusema, ha watoto wagu wanitatagi kitu. Ni wagumu sana. Sabda uliwaonyesha kuwa mgumu. Ukienda kuwa tembelea shule unaenda na gazeti. Kwa hivyo nao wakija kukutembelea wanakuja na newspaper ili ukitaa wakuachia wanakuachia gazeti. Hallelujah. If my boss would listen to me, if my parents would trust me. Have you heard that? If my parents would trust me. If I had little more money. If I could do the things I used to do if I had more freedom if my workstation was better if I had gotten that rise that I was looking for if people would treat my children better if I had less pain if, 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 now that if you treat the word of God the way it should you will know the Eve, the place called Eve is imaginary see kweli ni vile tu unataka kama ningeazaliwa nikiwa mtoto wa Queen Elizabeth Queen Elizabeth Nyambura ndio huyo. I mean why do you want kwa nini unataka awe mzungu? Si mama yangu anaitwa Elizabeth Nyambura so Queen Elizabeth Nyambura tuko naye pale. I I'm, I'm talking to you. You know sometimes we preach sometimes we talk to one another. That you struggle a lot oh if I was if I was born in this I don't know which place you like very much to be born in. Because I know some of you and you know today I thought I was, I was thinking when I came in the morning. I was thinking. Do you know if the ladies knew the privilege that God gave you to be born a lady, you'll be proud about it. If brothers, you would know the responsibility that God gave you to be born a man, you would honor it. So saigine ni kuchanganya. Mara unataka sijui uoge kama kamusichana. Na dada anataka aweke base. <laughs> A statement was made one. Na hiyo statement bado ninaisikia. It was spoken to pastor's wife. 
neno moja tu hata sitalisema Ta, taambia Alice nimekumbuka hilo neno sitalisema number three. we experience god's mercy and forgiveness 7c and he will have mercy upon him and to our god for he will abundantly pardon the word abundantly means multiply god's desire is to heap a multiplication of mercy upon his children the mercy produces more mercy and more mercy produces more mercy in our prayer this morning i said god this is a good morning not because of ourselves but because your mercies are new this morning yeah hiyo tu na muko unasema your mercies are new this morning bas finally we accept god's way at the expense of our own ways of our own our ways are incompatible one must be accepted and the other rejected you cannot have both of them if you want to honor god and his word then hear what he says jia zako ziko huku chini mavumbini zangu ziko juu once you know that god's word is up there and yours is down here then you will honor that word Nikikwambia mtu akitoka Nairobi kwenda Mombasa anaendaga na dakika 45. Ujue si kwenda na gari ya Moshi na si kwenda na coast bus. I mounted up. See the difference? But you can have an argument. Na no, Mombasa ni masaa kumi. kwa sababu wewe ulienda na train ile ya zamani hata sio SGR. Kwa sababu ilikuwa ikitoka hapa sinashara inafika kule sinashara. <laughs> you go the whole night kuchu kuchu kuku 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 kuku. So that's what God is trying to tell you he's telling you where I am I can see far than where you are. You cannot see far. Wewe una tukiwa hapa nikwambie saa hii nikwambie. Cooperative bank na mtu anapeana 2000. Utaniuliza umemuona? Na mimi nakwambia hapana nafikiria. Kwa sababu si cooperative sio nikiangalia naona tu kanyumba kale ka security. That's the farthest I can go. So hizo zingine ni speculation. Lakini mtu akija na helicopter hapa kanalia ta 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 ta. Alafu anatuambia deliverance church, deliverance church, deliverance church is a man. Somebody is dishing money at the cooperative. Utaniamini mimi ama yule? That's what the word of God is trying to tell you. It's trying to tell you wale watu tunaamini hawaoni cooperative wanaona pale. Na tunawafuata. Tumfuate yule Mungu. I must honor God by believing his word. Banaeso asifiwe. I love this church. And I'm also very happy to be your pastor. I don't know where else I could have been. Watu wazuri wamekula neno. Sasa kile ningeaomba. Kwa sababu ni watu wazuri wanakulaga neno. Fanyisha kazi neno hilo. If it is going to make any difference in you is because you're going to use it i don't know what god has told you i don't know what god had spoken with you even the previous week or this year and so on honor that one that go that word don't debate with that word wacha kufanya sarakazi na neno la mungu amini neno la mungu na litatenda kazi utoke mahali panaitwa eve kwa sababu eve place ni imaginary Oh if I was born a woman I would what would you Oh if I was a man what would you Is to stand and say God I thank you for the responsibility you have given me being born a man not to take advantage of anyone because I ni na kazi yangu na wewe una kazi yako kila mtu afurahie Mungu na kile bwana amemfanya na utaona hata familia hazitakuwa na vita 
But any time you want to be where, where God has not placed you, you, you want to debate with the word of God, it brings some challenges to you. Shall we all stand? Our Heavenly Father, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, it is your word that makes the difference. And Heavenly Father, there are men and women who have come to this church this morning and you have already spoken to them. We can sense the move of the Spirit in our service. We know there is a word that you have spoken to someone that needs healing. Because that is the word that has been ringing to them the whole of the week. I pray that they will know that is the word of God and honor it. I know that this morning there is someone that has been praying for restoration. And that word has been ringing in their lives for the whole of this month and so far. I pray that they will receive it because that is the word of God and honor it so that it will do the works that you have sent it for. Because that is what the word says, that if it comes forth, it will not go back void. If you are listening to what I'm saying, whether you are in church or at home, would you tell God thank you for that word that he had already spoken to you? And would you tell him yes, because his thoughts are higher than yours, you are going to honor it. You are going to honor that word. You are going to believe that word. You are going to trust him to bring to pass the things that are said. Remember, he is good and he is great. Therefore, he will meet my genuine needs. He will supply all my needs according to his riches, which is in glory. Open up your mouth and speak to him in the name of the Lord. Father, I thank you. Lord God, I honor you. There is a word that you have spoken to me. And it is peace. My peace. And Lord, again, as a pastor, as a bishop here, I receive my word. Peace be still. Yes, peace be still. And I will honor your word by being still to see the salvation that you are going to bring my way and into my family. Lord God, may you minister to your people. May you, may you minister. We want to honor your word because we know, dear Father, your word will not get back to you void, but it is going to accomplish that which you have spoken and brought to us. And in this year of mounting up, Lord, we are going to wait upon you. We are going to wait upon you because you are going to renew our strength so that we can mount up in the name of Jesus. We honor you and we give you praise. Heavenly Father, the coming week is a blessed week because men and women listening to me, above everything else, they will honor your word, above their thinking and their plans, above the neighbor's thinking and plans, they will honor God and his word. And to that we give you honor and we give you praise. Shall we appreciate the Lord as we sing? <laughs>